Did corn ethanol make sense? No, corn ethanol takes so much energy to make that you're, you're hardly reducing the carbon footprint or, or, or reaching energy independence. It takes the fertilizer, it takes the tractors. Corn just isn't an efficient way to turn sunlight energy into, uh, in, into, fuel. In, into fuel energy. Right. There are other grasses that, that are much better, and these are currently under development, things like switchgrass and miscanthus, uh, where you have many, many crops, and, they, they, and, and you don't require that much water. Uh, so, so corn ethanol is, hey, that was a nice experiment, but it really didn't, do, didn't benefit anybody. In fact, it even hurt some of the poorer nations that depended on the U.S. corn for food. It drove up the cost of corn, which is great for the U.S. farmers, not really particularly good for the people who depended on that. But you see some of the cellulosic things like miscanthus or switchgrass or sorghum. Do those have a future? Can we scale them? Um, those look like they do have a future, but it's not a short-term future. Okay. To use those, we have to not only develop the organisms that will allow us to turn those into a usable kind of fuel. That, that hasn't been done yet, but I see that as straightforward science. And not as straightforward as carbon sequestration. Right. I mean, if you want to be pessimistic <laughs> about technology, be pessimistic about that. But I think that's doable. Okay. I think we can genetically modify organisms to make, to make, make fuel like that. So enzymes to... And to create the right enzymes. Okay. Then you have to uh, convert the farm area into doing this. And in the end, you have to remember, if we do this in the U.S., it's useful for energy security. Mm -hmm. So we are growing our own oil. <laughs> Grow your in, own. In terms of the world, yeah. It has little impact on the carbon dioxide issue unless it's adopted by the future carbon dioxide emitters, which are going to be China, India, and the rest of the developing world. Right. So unless they are also willing to devote a large fraction of their agriculture to these kind of fuels, it's not going to really address the issue of increasing carbon dioxide.